Now, we need to multiply by a four-digit number using the grid method. We have 5 times 5,289. What we need to do is partition our four-digit number. So this 5 stands for 5,000, this 2 for 200, this 8 for 80, and this 9 for 9. So now we can write the numbers onto our grid. We can write our single digit number on the left and our partitioned number on top. Now for this box here, we need to work out 5,000 times 5. That's 25,000 because 5 times 5 is 25 and then we need 3 end zeros. Here we need to work out 200 times 5. That's 1,000 because 2 times 5 is 10 and then we need 2 end zeros. Here we need to work out 80 times 5. That's 400 because 8 times 5 is 40 and then we need 1 end zero. And here we need to work out 9 times 5 which is 45. So now that we've filled out our grid, all we need to do is add up the numbers that are on the grid. And when we do that, we get our answer 26,445. Now let's try 3 times 7,441. We need to partition our four digit number. So that's 7,440 and 1. So now we can write the single digit number on the left and the number that we've partitioned or the partitioned number on top. Now here we need 7,000 times 3. That's 21,000 because 7 times 3 is 21 and then we need 3 end zeros. Here we need 400 times 3. That's 1,200 because 4 times 3 is 12 and then we need 2 end zeros. Here we need 40 times 3. So that's 120. 4 times 3 is 12, and then we need 1 end zero. And here we need 1 times 3, so that's 3. Again, all we need to do now is add up the numbers that we've written on our grid. And when we do that, we get our answer 22,323. If we go back to the first question we solved, we had 5,289. So there's five thousands, two hundreds, eight tens, and nine ones. We were multiplying by five, so we can show what we have here two, three, four, five times. And then if we regroup ten ones into ten, then ten tens into one hundred, and ten hundreds into one thousand, ten thousands into one ten thousand. You can see that we now have two ten thousands, six thousands, four hundreds, four tens, and five ones. Then we had seven thousand four hundred and forty one, so there's seven thousands, four hundreds, four tens, and one one. We were multiplying by three, so we can show this to three times, and then when we do our regrouping, You can see that we end up with two ten thousands, two thousands, three hundreds, two tens, and three ones.